Proceed to leave the house. Hey guys, Trent checking in. Saturday morning. It has been too long, guys. We are blowing it right now. We'll make sure we get y'all more videos. We're going to bust these things out a little quicker. Uh, school's been definitely wild for me this week, but that is not an excuse. So we're going to make sure that we start knocking these videos out. But what we're going over today is the uh, PE Foundation Series Part 2, actually, of the nutrition installment. So today we are going to build the nutrition plan or show you how to go about doing that. So again, we're going to follow along through on the um, Word document here. And this, again, will be available in the description box below for you guys to download. So you can check it out, you know, share it, share it with your friends, show them, you know, whatever you want to do with it. It's free. Just check the description box below and download it. So we're going to go right into it. So how to build your nutrition plan. So in the video before this, I went over um, establishing the fundamentals as far as nutrition goes. So if you haven't seen that, I'll put a link up here somewhere. Um, you can click that, watch the first video. It'll help you kind of lay the foundation for this. But what we're looking at is needing to calculate. Once you know about protein, carbs, and fats and macronutrients, you need to be able to calculate a number of calories and then a percentage of those three macronutrients that you're going to take in every day. So that will be the baseline for your diet hitting a consistent number on a day-to-day -day basis will let you either gain weight or put on muscle or lose fat lose weight really simple guys calories in versus your daily expenditure all that stuff I went over in the first video so how do you actually do that gets a little more complicated right here there's no one exact formula for just suddenly calculating how many calories you should take in so somebody can't come to me and be like, what's up, bro, I'm 6'10", uh, 480, I do, you know, I run about 10 miles a day, and um, I eat, you know, a lot of beef. You, you know, you can't just, some dude just can't, or, you know, you can't just come in and say, these are the things I do, and instantly there's this formula, and boom, it spits out your number, and you're done. It doesn't work like that. There's a few different ways you can start to estimate that number, and what you have to do is estimate that number and then through trial and error, test that number out for a period of time, okay, and see how your body responds. So paying attention to your body. So basically what you're going to do, there's, there's three different kind of categories that people group themselves into as far as their metabolisms and their general body composition. And those, as you can see here, are ectomorph, um, mesomorph, and endomorph. So ectomorph naturally skinny, fast metabolism, kind of a hard gainer, that's what I am. Um, mesomorph is kind of the best of both worlds, you know, medium build, doesn't necessarily, you know, lose weight really quickly, doesn't necessarily gain weight really quickly. Endomorph is naturally overweight, um, it's difficult to lose weight, you know, your metabolism might be a little slower. So you probably fall into one of those three categories in some way, okay? But in addition to those, you've got your size, gender, goals, activity levels, exercise intensity, exercise frequency, and your current body composition all playing into this calorie goal you're trying to calculate. Okay, so it is a little complicated, but here's what you need to do. Um, there's ways you can start to calculate that, that initial number, like I said. Lane Norton, who's a pretty popular name, a uh, pretty smart guy, a lot of um, you know expert accolades that go with him. He knows what he's doing. Um, he's got some pretty basic ways to estimate you can see here in the document. So what he says is, you know, ectomorphs try body weight in pounds times 16.5 to calculate your maintenance calories. And maintenance calories are basically the amount of food you take in with your current activity levels that makes you stay the same weight. Okay? So establishing your maintenance is your number one goal. So once you know your maintenance, you can adjust up and down from your maintenance um, to basically set your goal and, and to hit that, once you start hitting that number, if you hit it consistently, you're going to see the results you want to see. So what I'm basically going to do is, you know, definitely read through this a little more, but we're going to use Ben, who we're going to use my little brother basically, um, as an example for this on how to calculate. So I've actually put all these calculations in here too, but what we're looking at, Ben's a mesomorph, okay? He's, you know, kind of in between. So we're going to use the 15 number. So he's going to take his body weight in pounds times 15, gives him 2,640 calories per day. Okay, so he's got that number. Now, 
he needs to set a macronutrient percentages, he needs to set macronutrient percentages um, within that number. So as you can see, he went 50% carbs, 30% protein, 20% fats. And that's a pretty good starting point, guys. People will respond differently to different percentages, but for the most part, as long as your protein level okay, is right around at least a gram or more uh, per pound of body weight, your fats are you know, at least 50, you know, 50 to 70, you're going to be hitting the right things, and those carbs can be fairly variable. So you're going to want to play around with a little bit of different percentages to see what you like, you know, maybe what fits with your budget and what works for you um, and your body. So basically what he's got is a 50, 30, 20. So after doing the calculations, um, using those, that information I showed you in the first video, you see that he comes out to 60 grams of fat, 198 grams of protein, and 30, 330 grams of carbs. So he's got a clear estimate of what he should consume. So he's going to split into four meals. Guys, meals for, for a really elite level person who, you know, has the time to eat every two and a half hours, this and that, you know, a lot of people see a good result from that, okay? For me, it's, it's difficult for me to eat six, seven meals a day. I can't do that in school. As long as you're hitting these totals, guys, especially for most of us who aren't deadly serious maybe about this stuff, and want you know want to be an IFBB pro and compete? You know I realize most of you aren't there yet. So if you can only eat three meals a day, that's fine. Okay, just hit your totals. If you hit these totals that you set for yourself on a consistent basis, that's the most important thing. You know you could honestly you could if you could only eat two meals a day, which would be two massive meals. You know it would be okay. You just want to make sure that you're hitting those totals. Okay, so. He looks at this, so he's going to try this out for two weeks, okay? And he checks his progress. you gotta, you got to weigh yourself. You weigh yourself at the same time every morning. See what you weigh, okay? Or weigh yourself at the same point every day. You see what you weigh, and you track your weight, okay? And so he, he looks at it, and he's gained one pound after two weeks. So, you know, your weight fluctuates a little bit. If you've stayed within about a pound, it's a good sign that you're right around your maintenance. So, boom. Now that you've tested that calorie total out with that macronutrient breakdown, now you know your maintenance, okay? So if he's like, all right, I, I've decided that I want to, you know, lose fat. So he's going to look at, okay, maybe I should decrease my carb intake as well as my caloric intake and increase my protein intake slightly. So as you can see, what happened was we went down to 2,300 calories per day from his maintenance that he established at around 25 to 2,600 and then he switched his uh, percentages up just a little bit, 35% protein as opposed to 30, 45% carbs as opposed to 50, and kept the fats even. So doing that, he's put himself in a small deficit. Now, you don't want to be in a huge deficit. If you're eating 1,000 calories under your maintenance a day, you're putting yourself at risk for, you know, especially you know, damaging your metabolism, losing muscle mass, okay? Especially if you're a guy and you're trying to keep retain muscle mass or your girl. Same principles, guys, go across the board here, okay? So you don't want to be in this huge deficit. You know, there's a lot of fad dieting. You don't eat, and you're like, oh, man, the scale's dropping so fast. It's all water weight, okay? Slow dieting where you're going from your maintenance and you're going slightly below your maintenance. We're talking two to 300 calories, you know, maybe 400. Right in that range below your maintenance on a consistent basis is going to be what helps you diet down. So... You know, on the other hand, if he decides he wants to put on more mass, if Ben decides that, he's going to increase his caloric intake. You know, this isn't bulking by conventional means. You're not going to McDonald's and eating 87 double cheeses and 12 McFlurries every day, okay? He's going to go in a, in a controlled surplus of two to 500 calories a day. So now he's up, by, up near 3,000 calories. He's got 30% protein, 50% carbs, 20% fats, up the carbs again. Um, you know, because he's taking more calories in and he's definitely hitting his protein totals. So, you know, this is, this is pretty, this stuff is, once you understand how this works, guys, it's not too difficult. You just have to have some discipline um, of tracking this stuff. And I'm going to show you in the next video how to do all that um, and, and just kind of establishing your maintenance. So I know it can get difficult, especially if you're in college, if you're eating out in the, in the dining halls. But just being able to control your diet, you know, eating the, you know, eating the same types of food, same meals on a consistent basis and paying attention to the scale 
and controlling your intake, you can, you can kind of establish what your maintenance is for you as a person. So know that maintenance, then adjust your calorie intake um, based on that maintenance to achieve whatever goal you need. So I hope this helps, guys. This should break it down for you pretty simply. Um, if you've got any questions, again, make sure you hit me up. Um, the next video, the third part, we're going to go talk about optimizing your food sources. So thinking about actually where you get these calories, your protein, carbs, and fats, where do they come from, what types of foods do I eat, you know, is it okay to eat this food, is it okay to eat that food, you know, flexible dieting, how does this work, we're going to go over all that, and then also get into a little bit of tracking, I'm going to show you my fitness pal, a really good free website and uh, mobile app that you can use to track all this stuff really simply, and we're going to get it done, so that is it guys, I appreciate you watching, um, again, subscribe if you haven't already, also, check out the uh, Prozy Elite Facebook page. Um, give us a like on there. Drop us a comment. You know, send us an email, prozekelite at gmail.com if you've got any further questions. And until next time, Trey Matthias, checking out. Peace, guys.